Fountain University has witnessed decades of academic excellence. Yet, the year 2023 marked a turning point with the arrival of Professor Lain Karam Karim as Vice Chancellor, a new chapter began to unfold. From humble beginnings to groundbreaking achievements, Professor Karim's journey is a testament to the power of dedication and the transformative impact of a strong leader. This documentary delves into the transformative first year of her leadership, exploring her vision, the initiatives she spearheaded, and the impact they have had on the university and its students. Welcome on board. On March 1st, 2023, a new chapter began in the history of a university. As the first female to hold this prestigious position, Professor Karim has not only shot a glass ceiling, but also spearheaded a transformative journey for the university. From the outset, commitment to students' welfare development took the front burner, from improved accommodation facilities to expanded scholarship opportunities to enhance healthcare services and increase recreational activities. Professor Karim has ensured the students feel supported and have a conducive environment to thrive. In less than four months upon our resumption, all residential hostels were converted to fully ensuite rooms. A 100,000 liter water project was established to end the perina menace of water. Several scholarship opportunities for students were introduced, which include the scholarship for Pioneer 20 students of Arabic and Islamic studies, sponsored by the Pro Chancellor and Chairman Governing Council of Fountain University, Dr. Awa Ibrahim, among others. One would wonder how a Vice Chancellor suddenly becomes a project supervisor at the Works and Fiscal Planning Unit of the University when she gets to be the first person to resume work, go round for site inspection and to be among the last to leave the campus late in the evening with another round of inspection to confirm that every staff member is on their toes getting the need for done. It was humbling yet dignifying. Scholarly development, the core of any academic institution, has received immense attention during this period. Professor Karim has actively encouraged and facilitated research initiatives, providing access to funding and supporting faculty participation in conferences and international collaborations. One of such is a 3 million Naira NASFAT full grant coordinated by the Center for Research, Innovation and Technology, FOCRIT, one of the many centers that came on board upon our resumption as the Vice Chancellor. Another incredible feat is the accreditation of all the courses offered by the College of Basic Medical and Health Sciences by the National Universities Commission, NUC, and relevant professional bodies. This achievement in particular was one that was of immense delight to both parents and students of the college, particularly students of nursing and medical laboratory science who have since been able to take their professional examination. The university also got approval to float new undergraduate and postgraduate programs with stellar commendations from the NUC. Local and international collaborations were also improved upon with Professor Karim leading partnership moves with local and international organizations. One of such moves is the partnership with Trend in Africa, a charity organization supporting scientific capacity building across Africa. This partnership within months gave birth to the university receiving dedicated laboratory equipment for cancer screening worth over 200 million naira. Recognizing the crucial role faculty and administrative staff play in shaping the institution, Professor Karim prioritized staff development. She initiated numerous training programs and provided avenues for professional growth through the Center for In-House Training and Professional Development, again one of the many centers she introduced upon her resumption in office. For the first time in a while, staff promotions were conducted 
in a timely manner and under our watch, two female academic staff members were promoted to the professorial cadre for the first time in the history book of the university. Still on staff development, to cushion the effects of the biting economic hardship, Professor Karim saw to the increase of staff salary, provided transportation palliative assistance, as well as new working kits to junior staff members, facilitated several bonus packages, especially during the month of Ramadan. That which has never happened in the university prior time. Has is a case of a leader who is empathetic and content. Infrastructure development has also witnessed a significant boost under Professor Karim's leadership. The university landscape has been adorned with new structures, including modern banking halls by Lotus Bank, well equipped laboratories, including a new animal house donated by Dr. Rahmat Adisa, Olympic standard basketball and tennis court, courtesy the donations from Nasfat Youth Wing, a standard 30 bed hospital the donation from Nasfat Women Wing and enhanced student and staff support facilities. Upon a resumption, a greening and beautification club was launched, supported by a generous donation from Nasfat and a horticulturally saddled with the responsibility of ensuring that ornamental plants are carefully planted and maintained around the university. These tangible improvements have created an environment conducive to learning research and overall well-being for all. Professor Karim's leadership has also demonstrably yielded positive results in terms of internally generated revenue. Through innovative strategies and partnerships, the university has secured new income streams ensuring financial stability. Few of such ways she has been going about that is the establishment of the university bakery and the establishment of the Center for Consultancy Services. Under our watch, the university guest house also commenced commercial operation. These moves are geared towards financial self-reliance to allow for further investment in infrastructure, resources, and student support programs, creating a virtual cycle of growth and development. Furthermore, Professor Karim has forged formidable alliances with external stakeholders from building constructive relationships with the government, host communities and traditional leaders, to partnering with communities and fostering meaningful collaborations with industry partners. She has secured invaluable support and created a network that amplifies the university's reach and impact. A commitment to impeccable university governance has also been lauded by all. Professor Karim ensures transparency, accountability, and inclusivity in decision making, fostering a culture of trust and shared responsibilities. This transparent governance strengthens the university's foundation and paves the way for sustainable growth. Finally, Professor Karim has recognized the significance of extracurricular activities in fostering well rounded individuals. Under a leadership, the university has witnessed a renewed focus on sports, cultural activities, and student-led initiatives, providing avenues for students to showcase their talents, develop soft skills, and build lasting memories. As we celebrate Professor Karim's remarkable first year, we look ahead with immense optimism, a visionary leadership, dedicated commitment and collaborative spirit have laid the foundation for a bright future. One year of five years worth of achievement is alluding to a commitment to excellence. We at Fountain University are sincerely grateful for our transformative leadership and stand resolute in our support as she continues to guide us towards even greater height. We invite you to join us in applauding Professor Karim's achievement and expressing our gratitude for tireless dedication to our beloved university. We are confident that the best is yet to come for Fountain University under our visionary leadership. Onwards to greater height. Long live Fountain University. Long live Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs>